Hey guys, it is Monday, August 17th, and I am 33 weeks pregnant and one day. Uh, I'm on my way to the gym to work out and then to coach a little bit. And this last week was fairly uneventful. The biggest thing for me is that I was dealing with just some pretty significant feelings of anxiety and was kind of taken back from that because I feel like I've done really well overall, um, particularly with being pregnant and also dealing with a global pandemic and being uh, in healthcare. Uh, I feel like I had really uh, been withstanding all that very well. So it kind of took me by surprise that I was having all this anxiety. And then I took a step back and just kind of realized, okay, well, what have I changed about my routine or what has what has changed and I realized that I have or I had not been taking my prenatal vitamin consistently and one thing that I have found over the years is that when I get low in my B vitamins or when I'm not supplementing my B vitamins I tend to get those um, feelings of anxiety and so I start taking my prenatal vitamin again and within 48 hours uh, the anxiety pretty much went away and that was the only thing I changed about my routine so it was just a powerful reminder like I know my body I know the things that I need to do in order to uh, help me feel my best and I, I need to just remember to be consistent with that so I'm really glad that that's under control and I'm just going to continue to put some things in place that will hopefully help me you know stave off future symptoms and, and that really includes you know getting even more disconnected from social media and having more time for uh, mindfulness and reflection and just being present because, you know, I'll catch myself scrolling and getting, you know, thrown into the rabbit hole of just all of these things that are really not serving me, especially being pregnant. Um, so that's, that's kind of what I want to focus on for the next week. And then I've scheduled myself for acupuncture every week until this baby arrives. And so I'll have a session tomorrow. I'm still doing chiropractic and then I have you know some supplements that I can take to just continue to help support me when those those feelings come up and the other thing I'm really working on is you know I get super emotionally invested in my patients and their stories because for so many of them they're dealing with fertility challenges and I so badly want for them to get pregnant and so it's really easy for me to kind of absorb their energy so I'm just kind of working on ways to uh, kind of separate myself from that, which is really hard because I just, I love my patients. I love what I do. And, um, and I, I, I like getting emotionally invested with them, but I just need to be a little more protective of my energy being that I'm pregnant and stretched pretty, pretty thin already. Um, let's see. Baby boy is super, super, super active. Uh, he just constantly moves. I'm feeling actually a lot of like kicks, I think, um, towards my back. So I think he might have rotated. Uh, but he just, I mean, it changes every day. He's just constantly moving and grooving, which is really fun. I'm getting a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions. Um, definitely when I work out, but uh, particularly at night. So hopefully things are gearing up to have a really efficient labor. Uh, I haven't really gained much weight in the last couple of weeks. Uh, really, I'm hanging out around 30, 31 pounds of gain, which is so interesting because I've written about this. You can check the blog on my website of just specific to pregnancy weight gain and how it's so different for each person. And um, there's just so many variables to consider. And like I gained weight, like I gained more weight than... Um, than I have with my other pregnancies in my first trimester and like the first half of pregnancy. And then it's really kind of like steadied, um, especially in the last few weeks. So that's been interesting to see. And I'm, and I'm eating and doing all the things, but that's just my pattern for this pregnancy. So I'll be really curious to see how much um, this baby ends up weighing. I still am feeling like he's going to come a little bit early. I don't think he's going to come like weeks early, but I feel like he's going to come maybe a few days before his due date. So I've asked my doula to go ahead and plan on being here right around the 39 week mark because I feel like I want her to just be here to um, help me kind of mentally even physically prepare. Um, and I just think having her around will be a really great 
way to help me stay grounded. And she's actually flying in from Wisconsin. So I want her to be present for sure. So um, I know that will make me feel really good. Let's see what else. I feel like that is about it. Um, I went ahead and ordered my breast pump this morning. And so uh, breast pumps are actually covered by insurance, which is super awesome. So I use a company, it's just an online company called Aeroflow Breast Pumps, and they will go in and verify your insurance and get all of your information and let you know which pumps you qualify for. And I ended up upgrading my pump to the Medela, I think it's the Freestyle Flex. So it's a pump that can be battery operated so you're not stuck to a wall, you can move around while you're using it. And so I paid a little bit extra in order to get that one, but I wanted to have the ability to move around if possible because especially when you have other children and need to do things or you need to work or whatever, um, it's nice to have that, that ability to move around. I'm hoping that I won't have to pump a ton because I didn't really have to pump much with Gray, um, but I know I will have to pump some. So I'm glad to have that in place. Uh, I still haven't ordered my supplies for uh, the birth, but I'm planning to do that. Hopefully this week I'll get that done. Um, and then we're expecting baby furniture to come either this week or next week. And I know it's gonna feel so good to uh, be able to put all the baby supplies like in the dresser and get that all organized. And I know that's really gonna help with, um, with anxiety. Because one thing I just keep thinking is like, I need to make a checklist of the things I wanna get done before he gets here so that I'm not dealing with that uh, when he's already here and, and I don't have the brain capacity. And the other thing that I'm really working on is putting my postpartum plan in place. So knowing exactly how much time I'm going to take for maternity leave, which right, right now looks like it's going to be about three months. Uh, and then also, um, you know, putting together a plan for healing. Or am I going to do acupuncture? Am, I know that I'm going to do the um, eco, -natal, eco postnatal 30 day program, um, which is kind of in the Malaysian tradition. And so I'm super excited to utilize the kit that we're now selling in our office. And, um, I think that's going to be really amazing. So I know I'm going to be using that. And then I need to kind of put together a plan for meals, maybe designate someone to put together a meal train for us and definitely have some freezer meals and lactation cookies in my freezer. I'm actually working on a postpartum planning guide that I'll be sharing soon. Uh, so, and I'll let you guys see kind of what my postpartum is hopefully going to, to look like, but just having that stuff like written out and just a general idea, even if things change, it just takes so much stress, um, so much stress off of you and your partner and just, makes things run a little more smoothly. And then last but not least, I'm working on scheduling some maternity photos and I'm really excited about that. This will be the last time that I get to do maternity photos. So I really want to, uh, to savor that. So that's my update for this week. I will be back with more soon.